Hello and welcome to my Yakuza Kiwami 2 100% Trophy Guide video. In this video, we're going to talk about sub-stories, specifically Chapter 6, and we're going to cover Beam's Backroom Cache, Operation Panty Bait, What Was Passed Down, Ike the Party Queen, and something important. As always, we're going to read from Syrixie's guide. Please check that out in the description below. Click the link. Go to his guide, does amazing guides on all Yakuza games. That if you got any questions, go to that guide, the, the answer will be there and you will get through it with his useful tips. So, without further ado, Beam's Backroom Cache. This sub sub ugh, this sub story immediately appears after you speak to Marita, the info dealer in Theatre Square. Speak to him again and he'll mention Beam having changed its password. If you remember the previous game, there's a weapon shop running out of there. Head into Debola, the club in the northwest corner. Speak to Nita, the guy in the corner. He'll give it to you for 50,000 yen. Now head to Beam, go to the counter and ask for Take Chan's High School Heaven. Then respond to the next question with 2600. The total of all drinks at Cafe Alps. You'll now have access to Beam's arm shop. Check back at various points in the game because new stock can be added depending on the chapter. The next one is Operation Panty Bait. This is Koyuki's substory from the Grand uh, Prix Cabaret Club. After having three dinners with her, She'll send you to track down some panty thieves. As you monitor the sting operation, wait and see on the first three guys and then catch the fourth. Although you can play it however you want. After that, you'll fight the dude and then you'll have the choice of what to do with the panties left behind. Choose wisely. So that's a pretty fun one, that one. And what I will say is check out Syrixie's guide on the Cabaret Club because it goes into all the answers. Everything you'll ever need cabaret wise, check out his guide. Absolutely perfect stuff on there. Yeah. Hi. The next one is What Was Passed Down. This is Kana's substory from the Grand, uh, Grand Prix Cabaret Club. I can't even say that properly now. After having three dinners with her, she'll take you to go check on an old colleague of hers that might have fallen in with a lousy crowd. Short, short of the story is that Kiryu is going to have to beat up a guy. Do so and finish the sub story. Again, check out Syracuse's guide on the cabaret. It'll have all your answers there. Absolute legendary stuff.
The next one is Aika the Party Queen. So this is another sub-story from the uh, Cabaret Club Grand Prix. After having three dinners with her, she'll take you to meet her friend and her mother. As can be expected, stuff happens, a fight ensues, and you have to smash some faces, and then the sub-story closes out. The next substory is something important. This is Shoko's substory from, again, the Cabaret Grand Prix. Uh, after having three dinners with her, she'll ask you to join her at the bookstore for the presentation of her new manga. After a while, you'll be asked to choose something. Choose Four Shine. Once the sequence ends, leave the club and come back and you'll complete the substory. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, Cabaret substories. Really annoying, but Syracuse's Guide get on that guide it will give you all the information you need and it's uh it's really useful so big props to him again um please check out his guide in the link below if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you've got any comments leave them in the comment section i'll do my best to answer the questions thank you very much for watching peace out